You're watching When Different Makes a Difference, my video blog of things that I think make an impact in Baltimore City. Morning! My name's Adam Van Bavel and I'm running for District 10 in the Baltimore City Council. Today is Tuesday, February 9th, and I'll be taking the Charm City Circulator this morning around Baltimore City and telling you all about my experience along the way. You can see I'm in Harbor East. This is one of the stops for the Charm City Circulator, and hopefully in the next couple minutes here, I'll be taking it up. All right, so I just got on the Charm City Circulator. Here's a quick look around the interior. You can see they're brand new. It's really nicely maintained. Right now, I am the only person on here, but just to tell you a couple quick things about Charm City Circulator that you might not know. It's fast, they intend to have service every 10 minutes at the stops. It's friendly, it's operated by Viola, which is a private company, and it's free. So I'll be taking this around to a uh, consolidated version of the stop today due to the weather from the blizzard we had this weekend and I'll be touching base with you a little bit later about some of the other benefits of the circulator and the service it offers. With all the snow recently and more on the way, I thought I'd give this service a try. If your car is snowed in, it's another great transportation option as a way to get to and from work. You can see it's a cleaner, greener Baltimore, and I'm actually next to another one of the circulators here running in this service right now. The best things about the circulator is it is a green service and it emits zero emissions. So if you're eco-conscious, it's definitely a transportation option that you can So I'm here with Beth, and Beth, you are a first-time rider of the Charm City Circulator, right? And you're a student? Great, so uh, just stepping on, what's your initial impression of the service? It's so fast Cool, cool. You think you would potentially use this in the future? I know today they have shorter routes because of the weather, but is this something you think you would try out again? Yeah, um, I have friends who are raised. The service is intended to be beneficial to residents, students, and employees that commute within the city, as well as a great way for tourists to see the city with three routes. The orange route, which I'm currently on, runs east to west through Holland's Market all the way through Harbor East. The purple line, which runs north to south, taking you from Penn Station through Federal Hill. And the green line, which takes you through East Baltimore, City Hall, Johns Hopkins, all the way through Fells Point. I should note that the purple line and the green line aren't operating as of yet, but the orange line has been underway since the beginning of January. I'm Chris and Eva, and I'm on the orange route of the Charm City Circulator. Guys, can you tell me, is this your first time riding a circulator? What are your thoughts about the service? We've actually ridden it before. Uh, we like it a lot. Uh, it does where we want to go. And it's free. It's great. Yeah, we live on the other side of the harbor, so it's nice to be able to get over here without having to drive in the park and do all those sort of hassles that would normally just feed you from coming to Harbor East or Hills Point or wherever. So we're really excited about the other one. So, Samantha. Tell me about Charm City Circular. You said you've ridden the service before. Are you happy with it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's really nice. It's clean. It you know, runs efficiently. And, you know, it's free, so I can't, can't really go wrong with it. That's right. So how would you say this compares if you ever ridden traditional bus? Do you think there's a big difference? There is. I think there is actually a big difference. Uh, the traditional bus systems uh, are usually very overcrowded. They're usually you can't really predict what time they'll come. This, you kind of have a good sense of when it's going to actually show up on time and when it's not. Um, and it goes to places you actually want to go to. So <laughs> That's great. So would you recommend this service to someone? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time today. I haven't had any negative interactions with them, whereas I have been actually a bus driver today. I mean, just now, we were running and late for the bus, and we <laughs> stopped for us because we were running and waving our arms. So that, I think, says a lot about the operators for the system. I agree. Everyone's been really nice, real courteous. In my opinion, this is a great service for residents, students, and Baltimore City employees who are commuting to and from work within the city. So thank you, sir. I appreciate the ride today. So I just finished my ride at the Charm City Circulator, and I'm back here at home. wanted to show you their website. 
It's www.charmcitycirculator.com. The website's really easy to use, and they also have some great features like the mobile alerts that you'll see here that you can sign up for. Circulator also has a Facebook page, which you can see here, the ability to share the information you find on the site and other websites and blogs. If you click on the Facebook icon, you'll see their Facebook page, which has great updates that are available to you, pictures, and more information about the service. If you're looking for other means of transportation in Baltimore City, on their website you'll also find the Harbor East Shuttle, which is located here, that you can click for more information, as well as the Water Taxi Harbor Connector, which is a new service that you can check out more information there as well. I hope you've enjoyed your review of the Charm City Circulator today, and hopefully now that you've seen it in action, you'll give it a try if you haven't already. For more information on my campaign and other things that I find of interest in Baltimore City, you can log on to www.avb for bcc.com. That's www.avbforbcc.com. And if you have questions or comments and you'd like to reach me directly, you can certainly send me an email at district10 at avbforbcc.com. That's district, the number one zero, at avbforbcc.com. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to hearing.